Step your lip game up, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, your girl has a ponytail in. It's gonna cause me to act up, okay? So you have been warned, okay? This thing snatches my life. It gets me all the way together. Anyways, today I want to get into lipsticks. So by the time you guys are watching this, yesterday would have been National Lipstick Day. And so to celebrate, I wanted to share a couple of my current favorite lipsticks, current favorite lip trends, lip colors, all the things very excited y'all already know how i feel about lipstick it's probably my favorite part of makeup like i'm constantly buying lipstick i'm a lipstick hoarder okay and so honestly i just can't wait to share all of these amazing lip products we're gonna get into liquid matte lipsticks we're gonna get into regular matte lipsticks we are gonna get into lip liner as well as gloss so i'm like covering all the bases with all the most amazing brown girl friendly lip products that i am currently obsessed with so let's go ahead and get into it all right so let's just start with what i've got on right now this is the perfect perfect brown nude for me not too nude to where i need a lip liner with it not too deep of a brown to where it feels you know a little bit too deep like this is the most perfect brown nude that i have ever used i am gonna go as far as saying ever used because i'm actually really really obsessed with this so this is the dose of colors liquid matte lipstick so that's another thing i love about it again literally no lip liner needed and because it's liquid matte the pigment is mm, so you slap it on it's there and it doesn't budge all day so this is actually one of the first dose of color liquid matte lipsticks that i have ever used the formulation is also really great I find it to be mostly comfortable on my lips I hate the ones that are like too overly drying I mean you're gonna get some kind of drying with liquid matte lipsticks anyway but to me personally I find this still to be a really comfortable wear and it lasts me as long as I need it to you know it just stays put you don't have to worry about this transferring to your mask or anything like that budging and getting smudging all over your face with your mask on like it's completely transfer proof it's not going anywhere so i i love this i love this and now speaking of dose of colors we have got to talk about their collab with miss nima honey they did an amazing collab where they did some really deep chocolate browns that are absolutely stunning nudes for like super super deep skin tones they also created these orange lipsticks they did a lip liner a lipstick a liquid matte lipstick and then also this gloss and these two are my absolute favorites out of the entire collection i literally wear this like at least once a week because it is beautiful let me let me put it on and show y'all because she is cute honestly orange has become like out of nowhere my absolute favorite color period for a while it was mint green for like years now orange i absolutely love see if we can take this lip off without ruining my foundation that's really gonna be the challenge today and yes i'm using a reusable cotton pad okay your girl is trying to be as eco-friendly as possible bought these from amazon you know what? I'll randomly link that in the description box below. This is what I use to remove my makeup and everything just with a little micellar water. Boom! So much better for the environment than makeup wipes. All right, here we go. Are y'all ready for this? This color makes me so happy. For me personally, I feel like red lipsticks have kind of taken a little bit of a backseat and it's orange for me now. It is orange for me and this is everything. I feel like this completely brightened up my face and I just, it's just something about orange on me. I, like I said, new favorite color, but I'm obsessed. When Nima announced this collab, my girl said she created shades with them that you can truly not find anywhere else. And 10,000% she was telling no lies because this is, this is really unique. This is just the most beautiful orange lipstick I have ever 
ever, ever seen. And with my recent obsession with orange, I have been testing out different types of orange lipsticks from different places, different brands. Nothing hits like this one. Honestly, it's not just beautiful with like the full glam that I've got on today. I have actually been doing this with like a no makeup makeup look where I feel like I just want to look a little bit more spicy, you know, a little bit more pizzazz. And I'm telling you, with a simple, simple, very light makeup and then you throw this on top, it looks like you got a beat face. Like, it beats your face for you. I... I am obsessed, but wait, <laughs> there's more. So they also launched this really, really beautiful gloss. There we go, look at that, look at that. It is so beautiful. You can see the glitter from here in it. And normally, I will say normally I don't actually like lipsticks that have glitter in it. I'm just not a huge fan of that, but this is so beautiful, especially on top of this speechless speechless <laughs> like she didn't need to do us like this but i'm so glad that she did because it is absolutely everything everything <laughs> it's giving it's giving everything it needs to give nima i love you girl i love you all right so next let's talk about my new favorite brown lip liner charlotte tilbury did something really special with this lip liner okay so this is the shade pillow talk number three intense and when i tell you that i'm obsessed with this brown lip liner i this is the one that i reach for now on a consistent basis look at this brown it is stunning and don't worry we're not gonna stop here but i just wanted to show you guys the way that this liner looks first i am actually pretty picky when it comes to lip liners i don't like the ones that feel too pencil-y i like the ones that kind of feel like almost like a gel pencil mix if that makes any sense i hope that makes sense but um, this is one of those that just, I find that it just glides really nicely. It sharpens really nicely. Like it doesn't, I don't have any issue sharpening it. I love this. It also stays put, which is what a lip liner is there for. You draw it on, it's not supposed to bleed, it's not supposed to smudge. And even when I wear this, which I do mostly wear this with lip glosses, and even when I do, I don't have issues with smudging, with bleeding, nothing like that. It is a bomb.com lip liner, absolutely love. And I love the fact that this is like the perfect brown for me. It's not too nude. I do have like a more nude, like more looks like my natural lip color that I'll use when I want something a little bit more simple. But I love this one because it's not too nude. It's not too deep either. It's not like super vampy. And I'll show you like once we have the final combo of everything else I'm going to pair this with. Um, but yeah, it's like that perfect middle brown for me that I... 10 out of 10 recommend. So I've been loving actually wearing this with the Smashbox always on cream to matte liquid no it's not a liquid lipstick it's just a regular lipstick it has a really long name so please bear with me um but this is the shade here for it and this is a really light kind of pinky nude i guess we could call it and so i've been noticing this trend that i am dying over i love the way this looks it's really really great for dark skin tones black girls brown girls all of us can rock this and it's absolutely beautiful so it's kind of bringing back that 90s i think it was the 90s that 90s vibe where you had like that dark harsh line around your outer lip which is what i've done with the lip liner and then you go in with a much lighter color. Do you see this? Oh my gosh, you can see it happening. So I am applying this all the way like on top of the lip liner underneath. So that way it kind of blends in and doesn't look like too overly harsh. And then I just use my finger to kind of help blend everything in. It looks mm, so good. It is such a vibe, but I'm actually not gonna stop here. I am gonna grab one of my current favorite glosses, especially for this trend. This on top is so bomb. Okay, so this is the Artist Couture Lip Gloss in the shade X-Rated. Let me give you a little close up. This is the most beautiful, like yellow, brownie, nude lip gloss that I've ever seen in my entire life. Again, another very unique shade that I am absolutely loving. So let me show you the way that this is about to transform this entire lip. Okay, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? This 
This is so, so pretty. This is something that you can actually wear anytime. You go into Publix to get some groceries, perfect. You going out to brunch with your girls, perfect. You know what I mean? Like, this can go for anything, even in the nighttime, honestly, with this glam and a nude lip, there's just something so beautiful and sexy with it. And you know what? This lip gloss actually has this really nice, tingly, minty kind of sensation. I don't know if it's usually the ones that do that are actually lip plumping. I'm not sure if this is actually lip plumping, but it always feels really, really nice on the lip. Just nice and minty. For a while there, I was wearing lots of browns. Now I'm getting more back into my nudes with my dark lip liners. Like this look is so nice. So that was like three products right there that I'm absolutely obsessed, obsessed with. This, this right here. Oh my gosh. But let me actually show you another quick combo again with the same dark lip liner that is. Mm. Okay, so same lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm just going to start by just smudging my lips together to help like blend it just a little bit. All right, and then we are going to go in with some Fenty Gloss Balm Cream. This is amazing. 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 Y'all saw how hard I went for the regular gloss bombs when I saw them come out with the gloss bomb creams. I was so happy. So happy. And they did not. They absolutely did not disappoint at all. So this is the red one. What is the shade called? Fruit Snacks. Such a cute name. So perfect. This color literally makes me think Fruit Snacks. I can taste it now. It's like actually the most perfect name for this shade, but let me show y'all the magic now, okay? Y'all see this pigment from a gloss? Stunning. Mm -mm -mm. And you can still see the dark lip on the outside coming through, and this is Spicy Mommy. It's giving Spicy Mommy summer vibes. The gloss just always makes me feel like I'm at a poolside summer party. I got on my cute one piece swimsuit and then boom, fruit snacks on the lips and oh, it's giving, especially with this ponytail though. Oh, and I'm loving it so much. I know I said that I wasn't really doing reds. I'm all into orange, but if there's one red that I am still kind of doing a little bit, it's gonna be this one because it's so, oh, it's so nice. And again, another unique shade. This is not your regular red. It's not your regular burgundy, you know what I mean? It's fruit snacks, period. Y'all, I get so excited by lipsticks. I don't even know, like this is probably not normal for me to get so excited, but it just, it makes me so happy and I hope it makes you happy too. On to the next one. All right, so next we gotta talk a little bit about Urban Decay. I'm gonna apply this without a liner or anything, just this lipstick alone. So this is one of my favorite shades. It's called Uptight and this is meant to be a matte. I will say it doesn't kind of really read as like a full, true, like matte matte. It's more of like a comfortable hydrating matte and I actually really, really love it for that. Hmm, hello, Pinky Nude. I have never been a fan of Pinky Nudes. Let me tell you. I usually find, sometimes I just find that they're just, I don't know. I don't think I've ever found the right Pinky Nude until right here, right now, because this is so pretty. Again, summer vibes, daytime vibes. This is so nice. And again, it's one of those like really comfortable matte liquid lipstick, not liquid. I keep wanting to say liquid. It's not liquid. It's a regular, regular old lipstick. Let me give y'all a little bit of a close up so you can see it's not like 100% matte. It's still got a little bit of a little sheen to it, but it's just very hydrating on the lips. It's not as much of a sheen as like a regular cream lipstick or satin lipstick, you know? I would say it's like a hybrid between a matte and a cream, and I, I love it. This is so pretty. It's just a cute, pretty, peachy, pinky nude. All right, so before we finish up, I did want to show you guys one more lipstick. It is another orange, and it is another one of the Smashbox Always On Cream to Matte Lipsticks. I always struggle with that name. I don't know why, but it's very beautiful. Different from the other orange that we got, but still. Mm. And here we are, 
reason number 952 of why I absolutely love orange. Again, brightened me up, brought me all together, and it's not as bright as this orange lipstick. This is the earlier one that I put on um, the Nima Tang and Dose of Colors lipstick. It's not as bright. There are They are still very, very similar. I would say this one gives like a slightly more burnt orange vibe and I absolutely love it. I love them. I love both of them. I would say I grab this orange when I want more of a pop. I grab this one when I just want, I still want the pop but a little bit more like chill. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? This is so pretty! I mean, honestly, and the formula of these Smashbox lipsticks, the way it glides on, the way the pigment is... The pigment is unmatched for a regular stick lipstick. And I also love the fact that it still reads matte, even though it is very comfortable and still creamy on the lips, it still reads matte, you know? So I would, I would call this a true matte lipstick. And again, just very comfortable and absolutely beautiful, super pigmented. You can't go wrong. You actually can't go wrong. So these are definitely my current rotation. I'm feeling oranges. I'm feeling nudes with a little bit of contrast with a darker brown lip. And I'm also feeling pinky peachy nudes as well. So these are all like the lipsticks that I've been kind of having in rotation lately. My nudes, my glosses, my orange. Ooh my orange and also my newfound pinky nude that I'm absolutely obsessed with ooh, 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 ooh. these are all so pretty and they make me very very excited um, so most of these you can actually pick up from Sephora I have linked every single thing for you below so if you want any of these specific lipsticks you can go ahead and check out the description box as usual I got you and yeah guys like Step your lip game up, okay? This is, you just, you need these. So just add to cart, um, take your photos, feel beautiful, and make sure you tag me and let me see you flourishing. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for making it to the end. Go ahead and make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Hey girl, just hit that subscribe button so that way you never have to worry about missing a new video ever again. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed filming this for you. You might as well just stay here and catch up on a few other videos, okay? So enjoy. I will catch you in the next video. Bye.